Red pine is one of the most common pine trees found in Michigan, with over 1.6 million acres of red pine forests in our state. While Ottawa County is at the very southern range of this northern species, we host our fair share. In fact, many of our park properties contain or have previously contained red pine plantations. Much of the red pine found in Michigan was planted to provide work during the Great Depression. In Ottawa County, red pines were planted for economic reasons, their relatively fast growth rate and value as timber products. Red pine was planted similarly to other crops meant to be harvested, as densely as possible. At Pigeon Creek, the pine plantation has been managed through periodic thinning for 70 years. As a result, the plantations acted as a nursery for the beech, maple, hemlock forest that is growing in the understory today. Red pine populations in Ottawa County have become less healthy. Even though the plantation at Pigeon Creek was properly managed, the introduction of root rot along with summers trending hotter and drier, these northern species have become stressed and more prone to disease. As a result, many red pines are dead and dying. Just look up. Dead and dying pines present two major issues for Ottawa County Parks. The first issue is that they are safety hazards to park visitors as they are unstable and prone to falling, and crowded dead forests have a higher risk of turning into a wildfire. The second you may notice as you wander trails through most red pine plantations, there is an eerie quietness that, while peaceful, should be filled with the buzz of forest life. Monocultures, by their very nature, provide limited biodiversity, which means fewer species of plants and animals are able to live there. In an effort to remove unnecessary safety hazards for park users and improve the health of the forest, Ottawa County Parks has decided to embark on the final removal of red pines at Pigeon Creek Park. We recognize that it will be difficult to see trees cut down, and we expect that the initial result will be jarring. However, we encourage all park users to look toward the future where a more diverse ecosystem awaits. Fortunately, there is a young deciduous forest growing within the planted pines that will be invigorated by the harvest. New plants may also grow from seeds waiting in the soil. The new, more diverse forest will ensure that future generations have healthy and safe natural communities to recreate in at Pigeon Creek.